Time now for caring for our kids today. Okay, it's almost summer. That means getting outside, encountering wildlife. Well, today we're focusing on spiders. Look at that. That just gives me the chill. Spider bites can cause irritation. They can make your child itch. They're rarely anything to worry about, but the exception is a bite from a brown recluse or a black widow spider. And joining us with more is Dr. Ryan Redman, ER director at Children's Hospital. I think every spider is a brown recluse or a black <laughs> <Yeah>, widow. <laughs> <laughs> so the reality is, let's first talk about the signs and mm. symptoms that we need to watch out for. When is it serious? When is it not? Yeah, so, so the vast majority of spider bites are, are going to be something that just causes a little local irritation, yeah. you know, akin to a mosquito bite, and usually okay. is not a big deal. The, the two you mentioned are the ones that we think more about, the, the black widow and the brown recluse, and those can, you know, have more problems associated with them. Serious problems. So I've known a person who was bitten by a brown recluse, I was telling you mm -hmm. earlier, and it was a big deal. She could have lost her life. So let's talk about what happens if you're bitten by a brown recluse. Yeah, so, so the brown recluse bites are ones that are kind of initially not as big a deal. They mm -hmm. seem like they're just regular old spider bites. And over the progression of a couple of days, um, they can get much bigger and they usually get what we call a necrotic or kind of a dead skin center. Mm -hmm. Now, depending on individual's reaction and how much venom got in there, that can become pretty extensive and require things like skin grafts and, and stuff like that. In pretty large areas. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, Black Widow. Black Widows are a little bit more of a, um, you'll get symptoms pretty shortly after getting bit. So mm -hmm. usually within an hour or so. And, and those more make you sick. So you feel muscle aches, fatigue, nausea. You okay. know, you can tell that something is going on systemically with, the, with those kind of bites. And those are ones that it's important to get seen for. Do you see these a lot? How, how prevalent are these? We, we see more concerns of them because like you had mentioned, you yeah. think, you know, when you get bit by a spider, you think that all of them are, you know, brown recluse yeah. or black widows. Um, so we see more of that, but we do see these occasionally. And it's certainly this is the time of year where they're, they're starting to be uh, out and about again. What do you see more of? The brown recluse you, or the black widow? Usually the black widow because they have more symptoms associated with them right True. away. Um, and, and as the name, the brown recluse um, spider is usually fairly hidden. Mm -hmm. um, so it's harder to get bitten by them. You have to kind of go into their environment. Um, yeah. you know, so that's why you know, prevention is always the key. Teaching kids to kind of stay away from spiders, mm -hmm. cleaning up you know, obvious spider webs and trying to keep, you know, the environment as clear as possible. And, you know, doing things like when you've had something in storage, shaking it out and making sure that you're not, you know, kind of jumping right into blankets, blankets, stuff blankets like and that. sheets and stuff. They love stuff, stuff like, like that. that. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Uh, well, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for Hope having me. Hope everybody stays safe. <laughs> and if you have a question about your child's health you'd like for us to answer, email me at ltucker at wate.com and then tune into Channel 6 every Thursday right here at 4 to see if we answer your question on the air. Thanks again, doctor.